going on people this is Spiderman here once again with another film review and this time I'm talking about a film called The Editor now The Editor is a Canadian film horror comedy and this film parodies the old school giallo films from the 70s and 80s like Suspiria, uh, Beyond the Darkness you know those type of films from the, those Italian 70s films from back in the day so um they even really, they really uh, added a lot of detail to this film because uh, if you guys ever watch like yellow films, like you notice the bad, the overdubbing, all that, it's in here. But the story is, is that there's this guy, he's the editor, and he's like one of the best editors in the film business, and he gets sort of framed for all these murders that are going on, and he has a weird wife. His his life is pretty weird. Uh, the film has really weird characters, and everyone is very, um, I guess, very goofy, but unique in their own way. Um, so I got had to get used to the film's tone. And, uh, oh yeah, Martin from The Human Centipede 2 is in this film, and he plays uh, like this priest of all characters. And I thought that was very interesting, and just hearing them talk, you know... Uh, was really weird but at the same time it was still kind of funny he had a charm to it and I, I did not expect to see him uh, uh, you know in this film but he, he's in the film and it's like so weird anyway so the film does drag and I mean if you're a fan of those Giallo films from back in the day you might appreciate this but this is not a film you should take seriously because like I said it's a parody it spoofs but you can tell, like, the people who made this film are, you know, really fans of this these type of films. And they even got, like, all the camera shots, the way those Gallo films were filmed, the up-close, the, you know, first-person view, perspective. All that's in this film, and it's really heavily inspired. But at the same time, I think they added their own little style to this film. And it's very unique. I had not seen a film like this. It's really like a love letter to the Giallo films. But yeah, at the end of the day, what do I give the editor? I give the editor for style and for originality, I give it an 8 out of 10 because it was a very unique idea. And it was just a fan. You could tell it's like a fan-made movie. Uh, Giallo fans made this film because the attention to detail in the film of all the Giallo elements, it's all there, man. I mean, they really... You could tell it really uh, went the extra mile just to put all, like, all these elements in the film. But the film, it's okay. It's not great, you know, as far as story goes. But I did enjoy it, and I did appreciate the originality they did for this film. And yeah, um, I think it's a group. It's called Astron 6. It's a group of Canadian filmmakers. And I think they made uh, Father's Day, that film. I haven't seen Father's Day, but I heard it was really, you know, sort of exploitation style, kind of like a la Robert Rodriguez kind of thing. But yeah, I might check that out and I might do a review on that film. But yeah, I recommend you guys check out the editor if you guys are in the mood for something different, something campy, something very cheesy. And like I said, if you've never seen or heard of Gallo films, I still recommend you guys check this out. And then after you watch the editor, you can watch you know, like uh, Susperia or any of Dario Argento's uh, films from the 70s, you know, uh, to get a better idea of what's going on in the film, you know, or why they put certain things in the film, you know. Uh, but yeah, I liked it because, I, you know, like I said, I'm a big fan of Susperia and all those type of films, so I enjoyed it and kept an open mind. But yeah, guys, I recommend you guys get it on Blu-ray, DVD. Uh, you should be able to stream it any platform, any streaming service, but yes guys, we're almost to 100 subscribers, so let your friends know, sub to the channel, alright? Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go!